Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip, courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, the last tip I shared with you had to do with the divide command. So this week we're gonna talk about its sister command, the conquer command, no, not really, the measure command. Now you probably tried the measure command at some point in your life, thinking that the measure command might actually, I don't know, measure something. <laughs> probably you wanted to know the length of something and were horribly disappointed when it didn't go like that. But the measure command is actually a very powerful command as long as you know how it works. Trust me, you're going to you're going to see that it comes in handy. So, um, so the if you recall the divide command allows you to take an object and divide it up into evenly spaced segments. And uh, you can use points as markers or you can use blocks as markers. So the measure command is very similar except that you're going to tell it the length of those segments where you want those markers to go. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so let's try measure. Let's go back up here to the draw panel on the ribbon. I'm gonna drop this down and this is divide if you recall and this guy, looks like there's a little bow tie there, is the measure command. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab measure. Select the object you want to measure. I'd like to start off with this polyline right here and I want to divide it into six unit segments. You know, six inches, six, millimeters, whatever it is, I'm gonna say six, that's the length of my segment. And you're like, oh, all right, well, what happened? <laughs> I don't see anything. Now, do you remember that it places points as markers and by default, points are set to dots. They're just one pixel in size, so you can't see them. It's their top secret, they're hiding. So you're gonna have to come up here to utilities and change the point style so that you can see them. They're set to these little dots, worthless. Also worthless, can't see them at all. I like to set them to these big old X's so you can definitely see them. I'm gonna say, okay, and now we're in good shape. All right, now I can definitely see them. Now, so this is six units in length and six units in length, six units in length, what? What's this over here? That's the leftover, right? I picked a number that didn't go into this polyline evenly. How did it decide which end to start at? Well, I must have selected the polyline towards this end end. So it does matter where you select the object. Don't just be picking it willy-nilly. You got to pick it in a location that's because it's very important. It's going to determine exactly uh, the you know where the segments are going to go. Okay. All right. So let's, let's come down here and let's work with this spline. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into the measure command. Let's go ahead and arrow up to go back into measure. And then I'm going to Go ahead and select the spline. And for the segment length, let's do 10. Now, did you see where I selected that spline? Because once again, that's important, right? So 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and the leftovers, all right? And you can see, I can see it this time because my point display mode is set to three. And um, incidentally, I would like to point out, if I come up here to the measure command, and I sit there for a second so I get that extended tooltip. It tells you to use DDP type to set the style for point display mode. And just so you know, there is no DDP type command anymore. All those DDs went by the wayside a long time ago. This is, they need to update their tooltip. Somebody right out of us can tell them. It's just P type now, just P type. Just so you know, a little trivia for you in case you want to impress your friends. All right, so there was that block option. Now that block option is very powerful. Have you ever wished that you could place a block at evenly spaced intervals on an object? Maybe you you did it once and then you use the array command. Way easier to use measure, I promise. So let's go back into the measure command and I'm gonna select the spline. Which end am I gonna pick? Let's pick over here, all right? So we're really paying attention now to which side we're selecting the object at. That's really, really important. I'm gonna do B for a block, and I happen to have a block in here. It's this guy up here, actually, and it is called bar, because, you know, bars are fun. So let's type in bar. <laughs> I don't know, are they fun? <laughs> Align the block with the object. I'll use the default this time. I'll say yes, because I like defaults. And the length for the segment, how about, we'll just say five. And as you can see, five, 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 a little bit left over at the end, and you'll see that it rotated it so that it was perpendicular to the object as it went along. So it was happy to rotate it. Now let's undo that, let's do one more. Let's not align it this time. That means it will not rotate it. It's gonna maintain the angle that it was saved for the state that it was saved in. All right, so one more time, I'm gonna arrow it. Let's go to measure. You know, I'm lazy and I wanna go pick it. I just wanna use my arrow key, that's fast. Select the same object 
and I'm gonna do B for block. It does not remember that I did block before, unfortunately. It's a little ancient. It's kind of, the command's a little ancient, I have to say. Enter the name of the block to insert once again. I'm gonna type it out too. I hope it's not a long block name because you're not gonna be happy about that. This time I'm gonna say no, I don't want to align it, and you'll see, um, as was indicated, it's not going to rotate it. Segment length, I'll do five again, just to be consistent. You can see which side I, I picked it at, the side over here, clearly, and it did not rotate it as it copied it along. All right, so are you thinking in your head about the many ways you can use the measure command? Because I bet you, in your design life, it would have come in handy, all right? But now you, you're the expert. You're gonna save time. What are you gonna do with all that time in your day? I think you're gonna find something fun and exciting to do. Don't tell your coworkers. It's all about you, it's only about you, okay? <laughs> all right, thank you for joining me. I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks, all right? Have a great rest of the week.